I'm here at the Indie Show again, a new hall that uh, one of my students, Fernando, ran about oh, two or three months ago. And we wanted to do some, some backstories on some of the guys that were wrestling to show you people out there what the indie wrestlers do full time because they all have full time jobs and this is their passion. So we've interviewed a few of them. We're going to go in and show a few of the matches and then we'll get this up so you guys can watch it on Rick's Corner. Thanks very much and stay tuned. What's your, what's your actual name? Willie Mac. And you go by the wrestle by the name Willie Mac too? How long have you been wrestling? Five years now. And where'd you train? I uh, started with AWS Wrestling School in mm -hmm. the city industry. Mm -hmm. Then I went to WPW in the city of Anaheim. And I trained like a bunch of places just to craft my skill. Exactly. One American and one Lucha Libre. And it's, oh, good for you. It couldn't hurt to mix both. Absolutely, you got to know both. And what do you do for a living full time? I'm a student in college, what are you taking? trying to get my major in computer electronics or computer science, something like that. Good for you, man. Yeah. Wouldn't you advise, I get a lot of kids that write to me, and we have two million viewers out here, they all want to be wrestlers around the world, and I understand they have a dream, and that's fine to have the dream. Don't you think it's important to have a backup in your life, just in case it doesn't work? Yeah. And that's why you're in school. Yep, that's why I'm in school right now. Like, when I first started training, I was 14. Yeah. But I said, I'm going to graduate high school first and get my diploma, and then... I come to chart training fully for wrestling, so you always got to have a backup. Finish school first, but then you can yeah. come and do this stuff. It's, wrestling always going to be around. It ain't going nowhere. It is going nowhere. It's always going to be more <laughs> popular and popular. Thank you, Willie. I appreciate it very much. No problem. Thanks very much. Yeah. Oh, Mike. And Mike is uh, a very well-seasoned wrestler. And you've been wrestling how long? Oh, God. Uh, it'll be 13 years. But you're only 17. I'm only 17. All right. When you first started wrestling, right. who trained you? Uh, I started at the Revolution Pro Dojo, so technically American Wild Child and Super Dragon were my trainers. Okay, and you did indie shows all along? Did indie shows, I trained at uh, uh, a lot of lucha places, I trained at the New Japan Dojo, so I just basically went to train everywhere. Okay, did you have any aspirations of going even bigger like WWE or TNA or any of those things? You know, uh, no, um, I'm one of the few people that uh, do this as a great part-time job and I've totally overachieved and I figure um, and uh, my goal was to go to Japan and I did that twice so I can uh, I can say that I live my dream, and, and uh, there's a couple little ones that I still would like to do, but uh, like go back to Japan. But uh, um, well, you always can. I, I always can, and, and I still have those connections there, and I'm uh, very happy with what my career has been and my role in it now. Well, let's talk about your career full time, because I know you have a really good career. I'm a creative director for a film company, so uh, you might have seen that work out there. I've seen your work because you helped me with some of mine. There you go. And you're really you good go. at it. I try. So, and, and the point I'm trying to make is a lot of the kids write into me and they all want to be wrestlers. It's their dream, and I understand that. Sure. And they're 15, 16 years old, and they want to be WWE superstars. You guys that call me all the time, that's your dream. But my advice, and everybody here I will tell you, stay in school and get a career. Absolutely. And, and that's the thing. It's like there's no guarantee. It's like winning the lottery. Yeah. You know, it's like, and uh, like guys like CM Punk and uh, Brian Daniels. Nielsen are phenomenal wrestlers, but there's guys like Colt Cabana, you know, who was in and Spanky and uh, uh, guys that were just in for a very short time and uh, should have jobs right now in, in a higher form. And uh, they had their time, but they should really be there. So it's like, even if you make it, yeah, sometimes the time is limited. So it's like, you got to have something to fall back on as well. It's very limited. And you get injured, then what do you do? So, oh, yeah, exactly. So you got to have a backup plan. Doesn't mean you can't wrestle, doesn't mean you can't become a WWE superstar if you got what it takes, but you at least have. Plan A and Plan B, and then go for both of them. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you, Mike. I my appreciate it. My pleasure. That. My okay. pleasure. Thank we'll you very much. We'll see you in the ring. Oh, you got it. Okay. Tommy. Hey, sir. Tommy. And then, is that your real name? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Since birth? Since the little well, Thomas. Okay. And what's your wrestling name? Tommy Misfit. Tommy Misfit. And how long have you been wrestling? Uh, about a year and six, seven months. And, and where'd you train? Uh, Drone Unleashed in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, cool. And, and how long have you been training? That, that? Uh, yeah, just that that extent. And have you had quite a few matches? Any, any matches? Um. Anywhere between 10 to 30, honestly. I, that's a big span, but that's I all right. Like that's all right. Do you have any aspirations of going bigger? WWE, TNA, anything like that? Sure. I mean, just like everybody else, I put in my tape for that. Uh, oh, tough did enough. you? Tough enough. Good for you. And what <laughs> so, do you do? What do you do full time? Uh, I'm actually a stockroom supervisor for Vans, the shoe store. Oh, cool. It's cool. I you guess. got a size 11 for me? Size 11? Yeah. 10 and a half. <laughs> so you've got a full-time job and you're doing this as a passion on the side? And you're uh, yeah, but of course this is always the dream. Too. Absolutely. I'm also going to school. I worked at Toys R Us for like 
seven months just quit well that. that's good because I just want to give advice to some of these kids that write into me all the time I get emails all day long that all these kids want to become superstar wrestlers right. and I tell them have plan A and plan B stay in school get a job and do this on the side if it works out fine if it doesn't that's what I'm doing that's what you're doing that's what I'm doing well when's your match what get a coming up so, uh, right up next we're going to come in and watch you absolutely get you on tape thank you Tommy appreciate Can it I shake your hand yes sir Perfect. Um, what is your real name uh, Billy Billy what? Uh, Billy Trauber. And where are you from, Billy? I am from Santa Maria, California. Oh, you're up north? Yeah. And how long have you been wrestling? Like 10 years. Wow, yeah. nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. when, uh, who started when you, who did you train with when you started? Uh, I trained when it was Jesse Hernandez and Bill Anderson. So it was basically both yeah. of them together. And both good not, friends of mine. Yeah. Both good friends and of mine. And UPW as well with Tom Howard. Oh, Tom's a great guy. Mm -hmm. I still see him from time to time, actually. Yeah, he's out of Texas right now. So. Oh, is he? Yeah, that's where he's at right now. And so you're just down here tonight for the show? Yeah. And what do you do full time? I'm a sales rep for uh, a lumber for Home Depot. So, like I do all the Home Depots in my area, so I do a sales rep for uh, the lumber. And this is so your I get to play basically play with my wood all day oh. long. <laughs> I just play with this wood. All right, so you're actually living your passion and doing your wrestling along with it, and you get to do the best of both worlds. You work and do what you want. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing it a long time now, so it's kind of like one of those things where I, you know, I'm still doing it, trying oh, to live the dream. You know, good so. for you, man. We're gonna come in and catch your match. We'll get it on awesome. tape. Okay, cool. Joseph, yeah. what's your wrestling name? Uh, Icon DK Murphy. And how long have you been wrestling? About six years now. Where'd you start out? Jesse Hernandez School of Hard Knocks. Oh, Jesse too. Yeah, great guy. Great guy. And yeah. you, uh, you have full-time job too? Yeah. Um, yes and no. Uh, I'm a full-time videographer. I edit a lot of video for like music uh, bands, uh, cool. TV, and I also do all the editing for uh, EW, well, not all the editing, but EWF's editing and a lot of independent films. You use Final Cut? Uh, I use Vegas and Adobe. Oh, Dolby's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. And um, you're on which match now? You're coming up soon? I'm wrestling Billy Blade, number two, number two on the card. Okay, we're going to catch you in the ring. Awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, I'm here with Joey Chaos, who I've known for a long, long time. Boy, you look different. Something's different. It's the eyeliner. Got the eyeliner. I got the long hair. Long hair. Yeah, I've had a lot of time to grow the hair out since I had to uh, recuperate the uh, torn ACL. Oh boy. So yeah, I went from the blonde to the long blonde uh, to the long black. Let me ask you a question. I have yeah. to have a knee replacement. Will yeah. that give me time to grow my hair out? Um, yeah, it should. Do you think there's any hair there? No. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, let's tell the fans out there how long you've been wrestling. Actually, this year I'm going on 17 years. Wow. Started in 1994. And you have a school, Santino Brothers? Yes, yeah, Santino you Brothers guys Wrestling. Do lucha and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, Lucha Libre. We have mixed martial arts. Uh, we do boxing there. So cool. a little bit of everything, you know, trying to uh, stay, stay ahead of the curve, you know? Now, now, let me ask you this too. Did you did you uh, try out for WWE or TNA, any of those? Have you worked um, with them? Yeah, I've actually I've had tryouts for TNA. I've had tryouts for WWE. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I guess nothing materialized out of them, but I got a lot of experience. A lot of, yeah. uh, met a lot of great guys. A lot of, um, you know, got, did a lot of networking there. So. And there's always a chance it can come up again. Again. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't ever bury your chances because you never know when something might rise up and they give you a call and say, "Hey, I'm there," and they know you're reliable and they start using you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's cool. Are you working full time too? Um, yeah, or definitely. just running the school? I got it. No, you know, I have to, uh, I have to get, a, I have to get a job to uh, support my wrestling habit. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> what know. are you doing? Um, you know, I do internet sales okay. uh, for uh, for a toy company for autistic children. Okay. Uh, SensoryEdge.com. Good. Um, so we sell toys, and uh, you know, it pays the bills. Well, that's you the know. point I'm trying to make because a lot of these kids write into me, and they all want to be wrestlers, but none of them want to get a job. Yeah. They think it's just going to happen. They're going to make a million dollars right off the bat because it looks glamorous on TV, and we know it. We know that a certain amount of glamour to it, but along with that glamour comes a lot of hard work. Yeah. And it's a lot of traveling. It's a lot of times on the road. It's a lot of times you get injured, and things hurt, and you got to have another job just in case you can't wrestle anymore. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's a definite uh, a must. So um, I just want to get your feedback on that. And when's your match coming up soon? Uh, we got a uh, third match, so I should be up in about uh, 20 minutes or so. Thank you, Joy. Cool. It's Thank always good you, to see you, man. It's always a pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. Your real name? Martin Casaus. And your ring name? Tristan Gallo. And what do you do for a living? I'm a stockbroker. Good for you. <laughs> see, I said that people have other jobs. Now, how long have you been doing that? Uh, three, four years now. And how long have you been wrestling? Uh, since 03, so seven, seven years. And who trained you? Uh, Stevie Slick in UCW in Utah. Oh, in Utah? Yeah, I'm out of Utah. And, and what made you decide to get into pro wrestling? Actually, I went to a WWE show, mm -hmm. someone having a flyer, and I left it for a while, and I came, I saw it, and I'm like, that sounds fun. I am graduated high school, I was a big high school uh, athlete, and then I uh, had nothing to do after that. I was like, that yeah. looks really fun. Yeah. Well, very showy, very... Very fun, and it turned out to be just that. It is great. It absolutely is great. Um, I started in '65 and was trained by Johnny May Young. Um, 
the only woman that, you know ever trained a guy. But I did the same thing because I went from bodybuilding into wrestling, and I thought entertainment was the way to go. Uh -huh. And now that you've been doing it, doing a lot of indie shows, right? Yeah. They're a lot of fun to do. Oh, yeah. There's no stress. No. No pressure like WWE. Nothing like that. But here's the thing I want to ask, because I get a lot of emails from kids who say that's their dream to become a pro wrestler. They want to be a WWE superstar. And we know how hard it is to become that. Yeah. My advice, and hopefully your advice, is stay in school, get a profession, mm -hmm. a trade or something you can do full time. Pursue your wrestling, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, you got something to fall back on. Exactly. Exactly. I, I'm 25 years old, and uh, I have a house over in Salt Lake. So nice. Uh, so I have something to fall back on. I have a pretty good life if nothing did happen. But it, it, it's always there. It's always a dream that you want to try to reach for. Well, absolutely. Do you have any aspirations going WWE? I do. I do actually. Yeah. yeah you, have good, you have a good look for it. Yeah. Well, thank you. No, I mean, it's, you know how it is. One out of 100,000 might make it. Um, but if you have your sights set and you work hard and you have the look that you do, and that's the thing I tell these guys: look in the mirror when you call me. So some of them are really young. They don't go to the gym. They don't try to benefit themselves. You got to have the total package. Because if you don't have it, they're not going to look at you. Right. And you got to pursue that. Because everybody seems to want the easy way in. Mm -hmm. They watch it on TV. They sit on the couch and think, oh, that's not going to hurt. The next question, is, does the ropes hurt? Do the, the mats hurt? Yeah, they hurt. Of course they're going to hurt. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get hurt doing indie shows, for sure. Accidents happen. But you can't pursue your dream. And you're doing it. I am here. I, I actually am wrestling every week from now until April thus far. So oh, good for you. So it's going to be fun. I love traveling and doing this. And meeting all these independent wrestlers is always a blast for me. Absolutely. All good guys. Oh, yeah, all good guys. Every one of them. Well, thank you very much. No problem. You heard it from the horse's mouth. All these guys have jobs, too. They just don't wrestle it and, and make a living from that. And this is what the indie show is all about. This is what the indie world is all about. And if you want to become a wrestler, pursue your dream, but stay in school, get an education, get some sort of something you can do just in case all else fails.